What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We've not done one for a little while so I've got some news, thought I would do a transfer update. But before I crack on with this video, make sure like always, if you are enjoying the content and you want to help to support my channel, then do subscribe, it is free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're 400 subscribers now away from 16,000 subscribers which is my aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated. We'll be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window so if you want to stay up to date uh, ASAP uh, then do subscribe to my channel for the latest Manchester City transfer news social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries I am actively looking for a sponsor for them daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window I'm expecting it to be busy I'm expecting uh, lots of views and things like that so a good opportunity if anyone wants to hit me up for any sponsorships for, uh, for any of them videos and don't forget also, leave your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. I just want to give a big shout out to the latest JSGC member, Ryan Tune. Your support is much appreciated by me absolute legend helping to support the future content created on the JSGC channel you'll now get access to custom stickers and emojis as well as priority access to some of my videos uh, and also you get a shout out on my video when you do become a member as well if you want to become a member of the JSGC channel all you need to do press that join button next to the subscribe button without further ado let's crack on with this videos and we're going to start off first with contract news we've got a little update on Kevin De Bruyne. Now Fabrizio Romano is providing an update on KDB. He says that Manchester City they're still working on that new deal. Apparently this offer is around £250,000 a week. It includes much better bonuses for KDB. It would be a five year contract with the option of another year. So that would be five years from now. So a deal until 2026 with the option of a year extension until 2027. Uh, apparently though uh, De Bruyne he wants to wait until the summer to see who gets brought in by Manchester City to see what wage they are before making a decision decision like you would. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, he hasn't been represented by an agent, that's just him using his noggin, he's using his brain there and wanting to get the best deal. Apparently City uh, described as still being confident that De Bruyne will get a contract very soon. When that will be, I suspect it may come in the summer. It'd be nice if it was before, but uh, I reckon City will probably have to play, uh, pay De Bruyne a little bit more. I reckon De Bruyne, De Bruyne is probably striving for north of £300,000 per week, if I'm completely honest, rather than £250,000 per week. But I don't know the ins and outs of these bonuses. Might be millions and millions of pounds based on uh, being uh, getting man of the match, player of the match, player of the season, awards, trophies, things like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so we'll wait and see. So we're going to move on to the outs and we've got a little update on Sergio Aguero. It's come uh, via Jose Alvarez, reliable with Aguero News. He says that Barcelona, PSG, Juventus and Inter Milan have all called to contact Sergio Aguero over a potential move in the summer for free. Sergio Aguero is currently free to speak to any club outside of England if he wants to join them on a pre-contract agreement to join them for free. In the summer, Manchester City have told Aguero to prove his fitness, prove he's got over covid Prove he's got over his niggling little injuries in his knees uh, and uh, yeah, prove his fitness, prove he can still fire gold and prove that he is still a top striking talent before opening up negotiations for uh, a possible extension to his contract. So hopefully uh, that could come in the coming weeks if uh, everything works out to plan for Manchester City and Sergio Aguero. Now moving on to an update on Ivan Illich. Uh, he has an option apparently to be purchased by Hellas Verona in Italy in the summer for 12 million euros and if they activate that deal then Manchester City are going to have a buyback option according to Verona news of around 24 million euros but first it has to take Verona to bring him in. Uh, so we're moving on to the ins. Uh, we've got a new name comes in the form of, um, bear with me with this, uh, Jaquiel Marshall Rutty of Toronto FC. I hope I've said his name right there. He's a 16 year old winger. He's attracting interest from five clubs which includes Manchester City. Uh, apparently uh, Bayern Munich are also interested. This is according to Goal. Uh, Bayern Munich uh, always having a good look at uh, top talent coming from North America so City looking to rival Bayern Munich and three other clubs for Marshall Rutty's signature um, don't have any more details on that any updates I will let you know uh, when I do get the news now moving on we've got a new name interest in this one comes in the form of Alexander Isaac of Real Sociedad he's a 21 year old forward that apparently Manchester City are keen uh, keen on 
City are, though, just keeping an eye on him at the moment. That's it. Just interest, keeping an eye, scouting, seeing what they can find and the potential there. Uh, this is ahead of City possibly making a move in the summer. But like I said, this is just interest at this moment in time. This isn't Manchester City making a move as of yet. Now, moving on to our final story comes in the form of an update on Erling Haaland, everyone's favourite striker. Now, Duncan Castles, he's been reporting that Borussia Dortmund could well part with Erling Haaland for around 100 million euros this summer as COVID is having an impact on their business. I do feel like if Manchester City are to sign Haaland, it's this summer or never for bring him in, uh, bring him, bringing him in to Manchester City. Um, what Borussia Dortmund will want is a bidding war. Uh, with Rayola as his agent, he's going to be striving for the club willing to pay not only him the most money, but also the club that's willing to pay, um, obviously, Erling Haaland the most money. It's going to be a big lucrative deal. Now, word is um, Pep Guardiola and Manchester City are willing to work with Rayola, put their differences aside to uh, try and make this deal happen. Of course, Rayola is willing to speak with Manchester City because he gets paid a lot of money. City... Word is, are willing to brush that aside, willing to work with Riola to try and make this deal happen. Whether that happens or not, that's uh, that's a big hurdle for us to get over. Uh, but I find that really interesting. Uh, apparently, interest is being drummed up by his agent. Manchester City, like I said, are interested. Apparently, there's a lot of interest being shown by Chelsea. I'll be honest, I'd be very disappointed if Erling Haaland goes to Chelsea and not to Manchester City in the summer. Very disappointed. Real Madrid are also believed to be frontrunners for his signature. Uh, I do see Erling Haaland leaving Dortmund this summer. He does have, of course, that uh, release clause active in his contract um, from the summer of 2022 for £65 million. So Dortmund will want to cash in and get as much money this summer for him as possible. Uh, if a case of City signing him, it may be a case that City um, try and get him as quickly as possible, get the offers in, uh, and Harlan will need to say to his agent and to Dortmund, I don't want to sign for anybody else but Manchester City. I'm happy for the terms that have been put across make that transfer happen. Like I said, it's a big hurdle getting over, not just Dortmund's fee, because they'll keep rising that looking for a bidding war, but also Rayola's fee as well. It's a really difficult transfer to get done, but if it can be done, it should be done by Manchester City. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can bring Haaland in because he's world class. He's an absolute brilliant striker. Uh, he's clinical in front of gro uh, goal. He's powerful. He's quick. He'd be suited to the Premier League and he'd improve Manchester City's squad. It's a big tick from me. We'll have to wait and see what happens uh, with that uh, in the summer transfer window though. And like I said, I'll be keeping you up to date every step of the way with daily Manchester City transfer uh, videos throughout all of the summer 2021 transfer window. Subscribe press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news. Don't forget also to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Also, my social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below. Uh, if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, like I said, looking for a sponsor for them daily transfer updates. And also don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all again very soon for the next video. So I've been JSGC. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. I hope everyone is safe and well too. Peace. Ciao for now.